Nintendo. Hmm? Oh! Wow. Hello everyone, and welcome to yet another Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga playthrough. I mean, like, it hasn't been done before, but the game was made in 2003 for Pete's sake. You can clearly see it on the title screen. Okay, let's just start this thing up. Up, oh, hang on, let me get my headphones in so I can hear the audio. I'm playing this on the Wii U, because, well... While I do have the original Game Boy Advance cartridge, I don't have the equipment to record the Game Boy Advance original. Nor do I have, like, the money to do so. For equipment costs, you know. Eesh. Alright, man. Game. Of course he didn't. He was doing laundry, Toad. Okay. I don't know if Mario is not gonna like this or not, or he'll find it creepy or whatever. But we're gonna explore his house. Here, we see a coat rack, or a hat rack. There's a spare cap of his. A lovely photo of Princess Peach, a window. A nice little lamp here. Two beds. You can tell this one's Luigi's by the green coloring, and this one's Mario's by the red coloring. Jeez, their beds are kind of small. Do they ever, like, fall out of them? Well, Luigi can just lay on the wall here if he's, like... But Mario, on the other hand, yeah. I don't know, and then there's this tumble down the stairs. Ugh. Who knows? Maybe they're just the right size. Alright, let's, like, let's compare it to Toad Sprite. Right now. See? And technically, you're gonna find out Mario's actually bigger than Toad. And here is their plumbing equipment, because we both know Mario and Luigi are plumbers. 
space plumbers, in fact. I mean, they repaired a glass pipe in my my first video, free playing number one. Which, uh, I gotta warn you on the audio quality. Look. Obviously, they install all this. Oh, and here's a hammer. Mario's gonna need that for his adventure. But, sadly, he forgets it. Oh, come on, Mario, you left the door wide open! It's common courtesy, man! Well, Mario's house is a little quaint, but nice. Maybe there's a TV we didn't see in there. Who knows? Well, that happened. Now I'm going to select yes to these tutorials because there might be some players that don't even know how to play the game and they might be interested in playing this themselves. So yeah, we'll do the tutorials for you. For those experienced players, just bear with me, okay? Now take note, if you're going to play a different Mario and Luigi game, the timing may vary. Just take note on that. Anyway, it also amazes me how that toad just called Bowser Mr. Ugly Bad Guy and didn't get hurt. It's like, really? Wow, this is really kind of a casual day for Bowser. Are you kidding me, Bowser? You're... You're asking to fix somebody's voice. Do something Super Mario. Okay. There. There. We have something Super to start with. Goody. Oh, he's helping us. Ah! 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 
I'm sorry I edited that. <laughs> it's just. It's just. <laughs> I thought it would have been perfect. <laughs> I, I, I'm awful. Are you kidding me? Toad, I don't even remember the multiple Mario parties. Super Mario Sunshine. Back in the day when this thing came out. And there was Mario Power Tennis, Mario Golf. Mario was always pretty much spending his time staying in his top physical condition. Shin. How do you think he, he could, was able to compete with Sonic the Hedgehog in the Olympics? Of course we did! Relax, Toad. We'll pull out this. Now, let's see this other tutorial for this guy. Yeah, I see I know how to play this game. We're just getting prepped here for the big adventure. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, look. There we go. <laughs> Darn skippy. Little missy. one of Bowser's trips. Let's see what's up. I already know what's up. I played this game millions of times when I was a kid. Why, well, uh, yes I do. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna check if... Oh, I was already here. Eesh, my memory is a bit off. Oh, hey, Luigi. Okay. I think, other than saving, I think there was something I left behind. And if you can't tell, this is actually Princess Peach's castle theme from Super Mario 64. One of my favorite games. I think that or Sunshine was my first Mario game, actually. Yeesh. Well, I was born in 1996, so I was in probably a newborn at the time, but maybe when I was one year later, I, I, my memory is a bit fuzzy. 64 Sunshine was my first Mario game. Game, actually. Actually, but... Or Super Mario Advance 2, Super Mario World. One of the three. Again, memory is fuzzy.
We just saved, Toad. We just saved. Guess who? Toadsworth. That's who. Sweet. Well, excuse me, Bowser. Er, I was prepping. Yeesh. <clears throat> yeah, you're probably gonna use it to destroy Mario. the time, Luigi was kind of recognized rarely, but over the years he gained recognition that he ever so deserves. Oh dear. Um. <laughs> well, that happened. Skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> Poor Luigi. He, he really didn't get like recognition in this in the time of this game or what I meant to say was with the, in the time when this game came out but thank goodness he did oh wow This isn't actually the first time Bowser has helped Mario. The second time... This is actually the second time. The first time was in Super Mario RPG. Again, Bowser can be uh, unpredictable sometimes. Oh! My bad. Hopefully that didn't mess up the save file. Yeah, we'll find out. We can always hit another save block. We're looking at you, Luigi. 
You got yourself into this accidental mess. I used to do this, like, a lot. Like, when I was a kid. I thought it was, like, a little secret, but I'm just gonna do this for fun. Eh. Oh, Alright, I'm done with that. Again, you're still learning. This is just for the new players. Again, do keep in mind this may vary depending on which Mario and Luigi game you're playing. I really love how Alpha Dream got creative with this. This, this fleshed out the Mario series so much. This in Paper Mario. Mario, it really also defined the series and the personalities for the characters somewhat. That in the Nintendo 64 and GameCube era, if you ask me. You just said you were busy! Really? You two have passports! But you didn't take any pictures for them. Really? That's the first thing you should do when you get a passport. Oh, yeah. lucky. oh lucky you. You get to cut in front of the line there. Alright, I'm creating a restore point, so I can get, like, the goofy pose. Cheap, cheap. All right, let's make another restore point for our green friend Luigi here. Ah, we got caught. Cheap, cheap. Yeah, oh man. Love the poses. Love the poses. You gotta admit, Alpha Dream does some amazing framework with their games. I mean, Mario and Luigi wasn't their first game. There was this one also for the Game Boy Advance that, that was called Tomato Adventure or something. It's a very, it's very much like Mario and Luigi a bit, but, eh. I guess they kind of differ a little bit. Who knows?
Well, congrats. We broke a barrel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Bullet bills, ba bombs, bonsai bills. Yeesh. Or it could just be a barrel. You know what? Who knows what was in that thing? Elite troops. Hmm, let me think. Mario does this on a daily basis, so I think we'll be fine. Elite troops! A Goomba. No, Goombas. Alright. I think so Bowser's letting us practice, or his minions are. Again, I guess the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Or at least in this game. Oog. I, I really like how they they like did Bowser's personality. Like that. That it makes him more detailed as a character. We've got experience points, just four of them. And nothing from that battle. Hey look, another, another Goomba. Ooh, look. My speech is like, ugh. Again, nothing but EXP! Well, we gotta level up. <coughs> yeah, originally... Originally, I didn't know how to distribute the bonus points when you leveled up in the Mario and Luigi games until I accidentally m mashed the control pad. Boy, did I feel stupid. <laughs> now, let's just give some more to the stash points, because those actually increase your lucky hits. There you go. A tip from one of the masters. How many till Luigi levels up? Being immigration. <laughs> hmm. Sounds like Bowser might be just doing more than helping Mario out. Believe it or not, the Paper Mario series actually took, took um, well, the Mario and Luigi series took inspiration from the Paper Mario series. Ugh, I'm thinking. I, I mean, I'm talking without thinking. Yeesh! Uh, 
Um. Well, that was quick. And Luigi leveled up. Alright, let's see here. Let's give you a little defense boost, buddy. Come on, come on. Yes! Yeah, no problem. Take note, the more battles you win, the stronger Mario and Luigi get. That's pretty much a rule of thumb for every RPG ever made. Look, at least I think so. Well, let's call Mr. Pinch! Hmm? Well, Luigi <laughs> looks like he's got himself into a pinch! <laughs> really got himself into a pinch. Mario's face looked like, how do I get myself into these situations? Just how? That's what I would be thinking if I was him. <laughs> you can go back below decks. Now. Cool, evil plant. Okay. Yeah, this guy returns in uh, two other Mario and Luigi games after this one. Just take note of that one. He was actually the main antagonist in the third Mario and Luigi game. I uh, probably said too much. You know what? Let's just continue this one. Again, really developed characters. Mr. of Doom!
Take note of this. General Starji, meteorites confirmed. Impacting Stardust fails. Imaging recon. Emergency! Emergency! Yeah, I decided to do a little voice attempt there. find ourselves a save album and we'll pick up next time. Well, see you around everyone!